Hey, how's it going guys? Today is August the 13th, 2022. Um, how's it going? Uh, today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly use an MKSD Ultra version 5.1 uh, on a Spectrum iPhone. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max on iOS 15.6. Uh, iPhone has no surface, but it's locked to a Spectrum wireless. Uh, this method can be used for iPhones from Dryson, Spectrum, and Xfinity. Uh, it is going to be the same, uh, same process. Uh, this is for, like I said, only applies uh, the same steps that I'm going to do applies for uh, Verizon, Xfinity, and a Spectrum. Uh, the other ones uh, uh, for other carriers, it can be AT&T, T-Bubble. Uh, those are for the same uh, same steps as before. Uh, but before this ones, we have a little problem with the Spectrum and Xfinity iPhones that we couldn't do anything with those. But with the MKSD Ultra. Uh, with the new version 5.1, you can uh, you can now use them with uh, T-Mobile network. If you want to use your Spectrum or Xfinity iPhones with uh, carriers like uh, AT&T or Cricket, uh, for some reason they're not picking up the signal. Uh, you're able to SIM unlock them, but they're not picking up any signal. But let, let me show you how I do it. Uh, pick up you need to pick up uh, right now this one is a simple mobile make sure you are picking up one of the new sim cards the one that says 4g lte and 5g compatible the new ones uh the new sim cards I only pay a dollar for it the new sim cards it only says 5g but this one is compatible uh 4g lte and 5g okay so let me just rip it off let me take it out of the package So, so this is what I meant. Uh, on this SIM card, so it's triple cut, and you're able to get the nano side, the one they use for the iPhone 12, well, a little one. And this iPhone, like I said, is locked to a Spectrum Wireless. iPhone 12 Pro Max, iOS 15.6, and a SIM lock to a Spectrum Wireless SIM lock. Okay. What happens if I just put the SIM card by itself? It will set SIM not supported. There you go, Spectrum. And I'm just gonna put my simple mobile SIM card. As you can see, it's picking up the signal, but it doesn't mean anything. I'm just waiting for the activation. There you go, SIM not supported, okay? Okay, so you're gonna grab your little MKSD Ultra. This is a new version, the 5.1. Uh, one side has the MKSD logo on the top. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. There you go, MKSD. That one goes on top of the SIM tray. If your iPhone has the SIM tray and the SIM card is facing up, that's the proper way that you're gonna put your SIM, uh, your SIM card. You're gonna put the SIM card on top of the MKSD logo and you're gonna fold it over, kind of make it a sandwich, just like that. And you're gonna put it in on the side. 
at this point I'm just gonna put it in I'm just gonna wait for the menu okay from this menu you're going to select 5g mode auto and then from this menu a lot of people are making the mistake that are choosing the carrier or your sim card no you need to select the carrier or your iphone in this case bryson x uh xf because it's a sprint i'm um, sorry bryson xfinity a spectrum accept and at this point we just need to wait I'm just gonna let the iPhone do their thing on the background. You get this message. That means the network is working. So you just hit OK. You're going to hit continue and it's going to ask for the Wi Fi. You can put the Wi Fi at this point and then later we can turn it off. It's looking for something strong so they can skip the activation so at this point i'm going to turn it off and it does the home that's for simple mobile so at this point i just need to go back to my settings cellular my roaming is to be on uh my 5g i'm just gonna put it on 5g on my standard uh i allow more uh 5g so at this point, I'm going to make a test call. Thank you for calling Simple Mobile. Para Español. Okay, so I'm doing a speed test, and as you can see, a speed test is doing really good. And the speed test, well, the connection depends on your area. Like I said, I've been telling uh, all my clients, uh, T-Mobile is the one here in San Antonio, especially in my area, is the one uh, the best compared to AT&T or the other guys uh, can complain. Uh, so here's here's where most people are making the mistake. Uh, if your iPhone allows you to uh, sell your data network, this is where you're going to put your APNs for your carrier. Uh, this one is going to come by default, but you can change it for whatever carrier if it's working. Uh, let me send a test. Simple Mobile is receiving and everything, so it's fine. So let me send a test. If it doesn't allow me to send a test, I'm gonna change the APNs. As you can see, I'm not in Wi-Fi. I send a test. Now let me send a, a test emoji. Now it says I cannot send a test emoji, okay? Now let's fix that. That means the APNs, uh, the Vodafone needs to go. I'm gonna delete it. And I need to go to the internet and I have a... If you need to have the most current APNs for the US carriers only, you need to go to this website, uh, APN.global. This is where you need to get your APNs. This is for the US only, okay? APN.global and you select the US and this is all the carriers available for the US only 
in my case a simple move i'm going to click on it and i'm going they give you a lot of options for uh, androids uh, windows phone iphones you just need to go where it says iphone and it's really simple guys you just copy and paste this is for windows i don't need windows i need iphone Android, Blackberry, the good old days, Blackberries. I think I need to go up for Windows, uh, iPhone. There you go. So, this is my access point. Simple. I'm going to copy back to cellular, and my APN is going to be simple. I'm going to paste, delete Vodafone, delete password. My APN is going to be simple. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to delete everything up. Vodafone, Pascal, and then I'm going back. It says for LTE, uh, APN leave blank, but I'm, I'm just going to put APN anyway. I'm going to put simple, and then I'm going to put for MMSE. I'm going to copy MMSE, paste. MMS proxy, nothing. MMS max message side is 104.85.76. 104.85.76. MMS UA, copy, paste. Vodafone is simple. Again, for simple mobile, of course, and just go back. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to turn off my data or my cellular data. Turn it on back again. And back to cellular to make sure everything is still the same, okay? So close everything. Back to my message. Oh, before that, let's go back to settings. Uh, messages. Now I message is on and it's reading my cellular, my phone number. Uh, messages, make sure it's on. There you go. Now I um, should be able to send the emoji thing as a test. Test. Still nothing. Okay. So let me turn it off. Give me one second, guys. That's how it should be able to allow me to send the MMS with pictures to other Android users. iPhone to iPhone, there is no problems, but Android users has the problems. If you continue having problems, not, not able to send messages, please, uh, Use the phone for a few minutes, um, go out, go in town, uh, let the network pick up the settings that you just put in, uh, allow some time. Uh, in the meantime, use WhatsApp, use Signal, uh, just for the Android people, and allow time. I'm gonna hit continue. Next, yes, continue. As you can see, I can turn off on and off my phone and the configuration, it won't go, it, it will remain the same uh, if you did it right. So let me go back, Wi-Fi off. Let me send another text message, regular text message. So it went out. Okay. So I'm going to send the test emoji.
as you can see it went out i just waiting for the reply there you go it's working so that's how i do the configuration guys hope you like it like and share tell everyone uh for android people that's how i fix the mms uh this is only for iphones the configuration that i just did this is for only iphones from x spectrum and xfinity other iphones uh you do the same configuration uh you shouldn't have any problems uh just remember this is only for xfinity and a spectrum uh for some reason itnt and cricket uh for some reason they're not reading the sim cards but other iphones other carriers you shouldn't have any problems okay so thank you for watching guys bye bye